Hola a todos, en esta mini lección vamos a hablar del de alfabeto. Eh, vamos a recordar, remember, el alfabeto. Okay? So, el alfabeto um, decimos A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. En Colombia decimos doble B o W. X, Y, Z. Cuando hablamos del de alfabeto, una pregunta común es, ¿cómo escribes tu nombre? How do you write your name? Or, how do you spell your name? So, Daisy. D, E, I, S, Y. Por ejemplo, el nombre Francisca se escribe F, R, A, N, C, I, S, C, A. ¿Ok? Hay otras preguntas como ¿Cómo se dice sports en español? Se dice deportes. ¿Cómo se escribe o se deletrea deportes? How do you write sport, deportes? O how do you spell deportes? D, E, P, O, L, T, E, S. Deportes. Cuando hablamos del alfabeto, es importante prestar atención a la pronunciación. ¿Mm? Tenemos el sonido como gente, uh, que en español ese sonido va a estar en estas sílabas. Ja, he, he, ho, hu, es decir, j. A, E, I, O, U, Ja, E, G, O, U. Pero también con G y E decimos um, G, G, I, G. Ok? So it is important that um, you recognize that in Spanish we have um, J and the vowels and you will pronounce ha, he, he, ho, hu. But if you have g and e, it will be he, and it will be um, he, okay? But there are another sound like, like González, que va a sonar ga, go, gu, okay? Ga, go, gu. So, In Spanish, if you have G and A, it will be ga. But if you have G and E, it will, you will pronounce he. Or G and I, it will be he. Okay? But if you have G and O, it will be go. G and U, it will be go. Okay? So, we call these dieresis, and when we have this uh, vowel, U, these uh, points here, um, you will pronounce we, 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 okay? Uh, there are some words that have these sounds, but it's just that you remember the way to pronounce it is not so common words with this. Um, Spelling of this sound, um, like um, 
syllables, but still if you see a word that have um, these two points, it means that you have to pronounce the vowel U. So it will be we, we, okay? Uh, like here, these words, um, sin buenza o linguistica, yeah? But if you don't have the two points here, the diéresis, you will pronounce que, gui, like guerra, guinea, okay? So we have this sound, um, like siete, or ciudad, or Zaragoza, and it will be the same sound. Sa, se, si, so, su, se, si, sa, so, su. In Spain, the sound um, se is pronounced in words with the letters uh, like Z and C, as in, they will say Zaragoza or Ciudad. Mm, for example, in Colombia, we will say Zaragoza, like S, or Ciudad, yeah? But Spain will pronounce different this, um, the Z and C. Um, this the sound ka like Colombia it will be ka ko ku ke ki ka ke ki ko ku so all these syllables we will pronounce like ka k, ka ko ku ke ki ka ke ki ko ku uh, we have the sound b yeah, oh, be. Bolivia, Venezuela, ba, be, bi, bo, bu, ba, be, bi, bo, bu. It will be the same. Okay, the W will be pronounced as in English, and H is always silent in Spanish, so we say hablar and hacer. Okay, so, si tenemos estas palabras, ¿cómo las pronuncias? Esto sería... Guerra, G, G latina, cepillo, queso, gitana, guitarra, cielo, quiero. Ok, so, uh, it is important that you <coughs> pay attention to these uh, rules uh, to pronounce um, to or produce some sounds in Spanish. When you go to um, your consultorio grammatical in la página on page um, 18 van a encontrar el alfabeto y la pronunciación and you will find these rules, okay? So, please um, pay attention to um, these rules. That is so like, really important when we are uh, going to pronounce uh, some words in Spanish, okay? So, you will have some assignments, extra activities, uh, where you, you, you will have to uh, spell words and pronounce uh, pronounce words uh, in Spanish in taking into account these rules, ok? Eh, si tienes preguntas, por favor, um, hazlas, ya sea por email o por D12. Ok, if you have any question, please let me know through email or D12. Um, hasta la próxima.